Good afternoon, Ridgewood High School. Thanks for watching the Ravens Report. I'm Vaughn Robinson. And I'm Kiwi. It's Monday, May 19th. We'll be on a regular bell schedule tomorrow. The Ridgeview track and field program won a pair of district titles on Saturday out in Baker City. Both the boys and girls finished first at the Greater Oregon League District Meet. Congratulations, Ravens. The winners of boys' individual events were Tanner Stevens in the 200, Brett Yankee in the discus, Caleb Ronhauer in the high jump, and Cody Simpson in the triple jump. The individual girls' champs were Dakota Steen in the 300 hurdles, Mackenzie Hidalgo in the discus, and Hosanna Wilder in the high jump. And good luck to the, our golf teams. They are competing in state tournaments today and tomorrow. We'll let you know how they're doing on tomorrow's Raven Support. The Ridgeview Lacrosse Club made great strides from year one to year two, proving they can compete with many of the teams around state. Colt Christensen of the Ravens Report has more. During spring, there are many sports available here at Ridgeview, but one stands out, lacrosse. So I checked in with players to see how the season is going. The lacrosse season is going fabulous. Uh, well, my lacrosse season is going great. Um, our team's like what, like five and seven now, so we're definitely winning games. We're doing a good job. Cross season is going pretty good. We have gotten a lot better since our first day of practice and then our first game. And so now we're looking pretty good. Absolutely fantastic. Um, we have a great um, win record compared to other years of the lacrosse teams that are in the area. And uh, it's, it's been great. Um, couldn't be happier. Because this is the first year for lacrosse at RVHS, I wanted to see how the players felt about the coaching staff. Oh yeah, the coaches are really fun to get along with, they're really fun to joke around with. Um, just have a good time, they, it's a good coaching staff, we have a really good coaching staff. We, uh, they actually teach us a lot and we learn a lot and you know we get W's because of them. So, I mean, especially Coach Jared. He's just the bomb. I really like talking to him. He comes over to our house all the time and yeah, just respect him a lot. Uh, I really like our coaching staff. They're great guys. Uh, Coach Jared, he's a really nice guy, positive energy, always just ready to help out. Uh, is full of information and knowledge about the game and so he's just a good person to have as a coach. And then Ben Brigance, uh, he's a coach. He's mainly for offense, but he has his uh, other skill sets as well. Love the coaching staff. Um, very positive. We also learned about the game by listening to what the players had to say about their respective positions. Midfielder is basically a lot of running. You play defense, you play offense. You've got to be able to catch and throw pretty well. I mean, I guess like every position. But um, you set up the plays and just pretty much do everything on the field. Attack, that's what I do. Uh, I'm supposed to score goals, retain the ball, keep possession season would not have even happened without parents and players working extremely hard behind the scenes. Christensen, Ravens Report. Thanks Colt. Three more items. The National Honor Society meeting for all members is on Thursday during lunch in room 225. All girls soccer players should attend a meeting tomorrow during and lunch in the Skybox to meet the new varsity head coach. And make sure you turn in all books to the library soon, especially you seniors who are skipping today. And now, here are the winners of the Class ASB elections. More student-produced news stories, sports highlights, and other fun stuff can be found on the school's YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ridgeview Ravens. I'm Kiwi. And I'm Vaughn Robinson. Thanks for watching the Raven Support. We leave you with some sights and sounds of senior day for the Ridgeview baseball team. Good luck in the playoffs, boys. Have an epic day and stay classy, Ridgeview. Escorted by Sid and Shalina Robinson. This is his second year varsity letter winner. Plans to attend Lane Community College next year. And a message to the underclassmen, do as I say, not as I do. Escorted by Ron and Danita Schomburg. This is his second year varsity letter winner and a plans to attend Mount Hood next year. Message to the underclassmen is always strive to be your best. Escorted by Ty and Sarah Churchill. Tyler is a two-year letter winner and a plans to 
go to Seal TC next year. No. Message to underclassmen is be a great team player and bond together. Lastly, number 25, Mitch Springer, escorted by Andrea Springer. This is a three-year varsity award letter winner and a plan to attend Northwest Nazarene University in Nampa, Idaho. His message to underclassmen, have fun and always play hard. Your 2014 Ridgeview High School baseball seniors.